Welcome back to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean your bathtub without having to bend over and break your back trying to reach all the way down and scrubbing the bathtub. So in this video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to clean your bathtub with ingredients that you already have in your house, most likely. It's not gonna break the bank, and the best part is it's not gonna break your back either. Now, in this video, we are gonna be cleaning the toilet with shaving cream. Now, what if you don't have shaving cream in your house? I don't know, maybe nobody in your house shaves. Maybe you don't like the smell of shaving cream for whatever reason. I'm gonna show you an alternative with other ingredients that I know you have in your house as well. So make sure to watch for that at the very end of this video. But first, make sure you subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss future uploads about cleaning tips and also cleaning hacks. But now let's show you how this works. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on the water in your bathtub, pre-moisten all around the bathtub, and then also get your broom nice and wet as well. And the next step is to just apply some shaving cream generously on your broom. And it doesn't matter if your shaving cream is gel or the foaming kind. If it's the gel shaving cream, it's gonna turn into foam as soon as you start to lather it in. Then this is the fun part where you can get to work using your broom to really work that shaving cream into your bathtub. The long handle of the broom makes it so you don't have to bend over and you can easily reach all of the crevices, all of the nooks and crannies in your bathtub without a single pulled muscle, a single strained ligament, and no achy back. The reason why this shaving cream works so well is because the same lathering cleansing power that it has when somebody is using it on their face or their legs or whatever also works amazingly well for cleaning the bathtub. There are also some antibacterial properties in shaving cream, which never hurts when you're cleaning any part of your bathroom. Once you are done scrubbing, go ahead and give your bathtub a really good rinse and you are good to go. Now, I wouldn't use my outside dirty broom and as you noticed in this video, the broom that I used is pretty scraggly and old. That is mostly because I hardly ever, ever sweep. That broom has been around for an eternity and it's never ever used. Because if you're familiar with our channel, you will know that I never ever use brooms on my hard surfaces. I always only use a vac mop. It's the best thing in the world. I'll make sure to link above to my video about vac mops. It is a complete lifesaver and a life changer. But as promised, I'm gonna show you an alternative to shaving cream, which works amazingly well. And that is Dawn detergent and baking soda. This is a powerful combination that works really well on this type of surface because this will clean and lather and the baking soda is mildly abrasive and also has a nice brightening property that together really do a great job for cleaning things like your bathtub. So my bathtub is already wet but for you of course you want to pre-moisten your bathtub and then just go ahead and spread that baking soda all over your bathtub and then just grab your Dawn. Now I like this antibacterial Dawn, regular Dawn is fine too and you can just pour that all over. And then from here, it's pretty self-explanatory. We've already done the process, but you take your broom and then you go ahead and give it a scrub. If it's not wet enough, you'll know because it will be crumbly and dry. And if that happens, you just wanna add some more water and then continue to clean. So I'm gonna finish cleaning my bathtub, but as for you, I wanna make sure that you subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. And if you like cleaning your bathroom, or even if you don't, but you just want your bathroom clean, I'm gonna show you my next video on how to clean your shower with a supercharged cleaner that you can make from items in your kitchen. It's a great video. I'm gonna link to it right here. Make sure you click on that, and we'll see you over there.